Well, I get the I get the kitchen Yummy. sink. I get the kitchen sink. I don't know what this um, is. I I get water. <laughs> um, I get. But apparently, maybe have I lost a bet? Is that why we're here? Hey, what's going on? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to a special uh, yard work episode of yes. Multicasting. Casking. Yes. We're here at the Birdman of Ligoti's house in Ligoti, Indiana. Yes. Uh, tourist attraction. It is. We've been doing yard work all day. Roadside America. Roadside America will bring you to the Birdman of Ligoti, as will National Geographic Kids. Yeah. Um, and if you watched our things to buy for Christmas presents, you will see we have our lovely Glen Karen traveling case. Yes, we take it everywhere oh, we go. Gene, would you like a Glen Karen? Please. So what we are doing, we're reviewing for here today is a specially unique whiskey. Um, we found this underneath the Birdman of Ligoti's kitchen sink. Treasure. It's a, it's a, it's a whiskey treasure. <laughs> he says to us as we're pulling, hey, I think I've got some, some aged bourbon. So just under the sink. Just to be clear. To be clear. We wouldn't just, you know, offer this, I guess, to like any 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 Joe off the street. Not any Joe off we the street. We are family of sorts. Of sorts. Of sorts. We're uh, bringing you to oh, you have more to say. No, I was just going to say that the Birdman um, of Ligoti happens to also be my father. Her daddy. <laughs> Some see the road late in life as a dead end. Oops. But at least one is making it a destination. He says, what are you going to do? Do you have a plan for retirement? I says, yes, I'm going to build birdhouses. So five hours a day, he hammers away, turning his home. Just kept doing it. Into the perfect landing spot. <laughs> That's what people say. I just never know who's going to be here. <laughs> but he knows they are coming. Oh, Lord, yes. Because like Bill Larkin, I'm kind of obsessed, I guess. They can't help themselves. Now I think I'm just known as a crazy man. <laughs> Sometimes crazy Hello? can be a call. Did you guys want to stop? <laughs> For just this whole idea of this place. Oh, I came around the corner and it's like, oh my God. I'd say it'd have to be the most colorful place in Indiana and probably the most weirdest place. Outside, there's over 4,000 birdhouses, I think, and over 20,000 rocks. Oh, it's, it's something else. <laughs> At least 1,000 little bird statues. There's over 100 gnomes. I think I like that area down there. No, this is bright. That's brighter down through there. Welcome to Bill's Crazy Place. <laughs> it's hard to tell who enjoys this more. Just keep looking around, there's something else. The visitors who are taking it all in for the first time. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is my house. Or Bill. This is my house. Who shows it <laughs> like it's the first time. But he's really uh, keeping busy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if you're lucky, with your mind already on sensory overload... It's absolutely not real. Bill will invite you... Oh, well, come on in. ...into his home. Oh, my God! <laughs> this is better! <laughs> Just imagine walking into a geodesic Christmas snow globe, and you don't even have to shake it to appreciate it. It's got to be like when you're a little kid and you're laying on the ground looking up at the sky. Oh, you'd be, As the stars. you'd be surprised how many people come in here and actually lay on my dirty floor. And just look, and then they usually take their phone out and take a picture. This is definitely a hidden treasure. Us right yes, there. it is. It's a hidden treasure. If you want any of the little ones that are over here or hanging, it doesn't matter. Hard to believe, but there is yet another treat before you leave here while the birds are busy picking out their birdhouse. Well, I'll just reach down and get one. Every visitor who stops by gets to pick out a birdhouse to take Give home. It to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this place is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. I don't sell nothing. Never did. Maybe that's why the birds are always singing. <laughs> it feels crazy place. Nobody in their right mind would have this many birdhouses and rocks, I don't believe. Everybody should come here just to be totally amazed. <laughs> you girls have been a hoot. See you later. In Martin County. <laughs> her daddy, her daddy. It's my dad. So today. He's a bit crazy, and I was uh, helped cleaning out the kitchen, and I found treasure. 
treasure in the, in the form of Calvert Extra. Extra. Uh, American blended bourbon. They brag here with natural flavor. Mm -hmm. Not yes. a bourbon, but they're calling themselves American whiskey. They can't be a bourbon, Gene, because this is 35% ABV. A whopping, uh, a whopping 70 proof. I'm so excited. We have literally tasted whiskey and sampled whiskey on this show higher proof than a higher ABV than this proof as a mosquito flies in my eye. <laughs> uh, we know nothing about this other than the fact that we found it underneath the kitchen sink. <laughs> I did look it up and it is they still make it. Do they? And they still uh, sell it for about the same price as the price tag that's on the back of this bottle. Price tag on the bottle is nine dollars and fifty cents. Yes. We were trying to figure out what year he purchased this in. It says right here, 1993. I was wondering if that means the year. 1993. <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. If that was it. Well, it's uh, it's for the soft taste. So, Gene, would taste. you like the first pour or the second pour? I don't know. <laughs> how about you take the How about you take the second pour? I'll okay. take the first pour. All right. As this tradition on this. Yes, I hope you love it. Heavy, heavy pour here. <laughs> it's a heavy he heavy handed pour. I like this pour. Uh, I bet you do. So we're gonna. Uh, and shout out to Swole Leg. If you have not watched Slow Leg, uh, Scotch, you know, society of whiskey loving elderly gentlemen. Shout out to Renee. Okay. Uh, I was showing Gene one of Renee's videos that he did yep. today of the, of the Canadian Longwood Review. Yes. Check out Swole Leg. Well, you know what? We'll leave a link down in the video's description right. to He's their like Longwood review. He's like standing out in the woods and reviewing yeah. a uh, dram of sorts. Of Canadian Longwood. We feel like we've got a wooded area yeah, behind us, so this is perfect for us to just chime in. Our, our what are you getting on the nose there, Jean Marie? I am afraid. Come on, what are you getting on the nose? What did you get? I'm waiting. That's tradition. we got to go with the flow of the show. What do you get on okay. the I can smell from here the 35% ABV. I can smell caramel. Well, I get, the, Ooh, I get the kitchen yummy. sink. I get the kitchen sink. I don't know what this um, is. I, I get water. <laughs> so, um, I get, but apparently, maybe, have I lost a bet? Is that why we're uh, here? here so I know that whiskey's supposed to get better with age, but apparently, oh, you know, after and, you and, open it, and, maybe. And, and, and a barrel? No, and whiskey doesn't, it stops aging once you, once you go to the glass. Yeah, 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 but you know, this has also been aging Ooh. in the glass bottle for a few decades. Well, it's, 29 years, 29 years ago. You know what, I'm just gonna have a go in. You know, uh, you want to get on the nose, I get water and watered down caramel and the kitchen sink. I, there is caramel. I think a bug just yep. flew in my mouth. Oh, Maybe it was really cool. Hair. I doubt the camera caught it, but a second ago, I'm like, is that a giant wasp or it was a hummingbird came up and fluttered by you and then moved away. Mm. I'm just gonna have a go in. Oh, okay. I think you're blocking the bottle here, Gene. Let me I, just... Am I? Don't want to block, wanna, don't wanna wanna block that. Bottle. Okay. I'm just going to go in, Jim. No, I'm going to try and get something on this nose. Um, there's a creamy oh, okay. butterness, not a delightful butterness. Um, there's caramel. I get like uh, turpentine. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know because my dad was what you call a body man. And a body man is someone who yeah. takes care of the body of the car. You paint crash thinner, your car. He, maybe. Paint body thinner. Man, paint, yeah, paint thinner. Body man t fixes your car after you crash it on yes. the body of the car. Have a go in. Thank you. Ladies first. Cheers. Oh, yeah, sure. oh, you already got it. Yeah? Paint thinner. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I have hair on my tongue now. <laughs> um, so this is a great whiskey for anyone you know who has lost a bet. If you are, oh, that is not good. I really get on the mid palate, I really get water. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you, uh, Calvert Extra, for making me. I now have a new appreciation for all the 40s I have in our collection. <laughs> um, I have a new appreciation for even mediocre and average bourbon. You know, I feel like maybe we should try and get a fresh one and see if it's any different than this. You let me know how that review goes. No, we you do things know. together. I, why would you say something like, I feel like we should get a new Calvert? The extra smooth. They just don't make them. No, the the oh the soft taste, not the extra. Well, I don't know why. Okay, so I don't know why. Actually, the second sip uh, is not vomit. It's not. <laughs> um, I if you mix this with like, say, one percent of this with ninety nine percent of your favorite pop, 
after you've already been drinking. Then you just wish that you could pop. You might be able to drink this. Here's what we need to do. Here's it. what we need. We, we've had this bad. What are they, does it even say where they make this at? We need to get ourselves a, a Indian. It's Kentucky. Some the price tax covering we're at from Kentucky. Mm. So we're gonna get ourselves an Indiana, a, 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 a straight Indiana. Let's get us something from Indiana. From Indiana. And review that before we leave. Review that. I think that this gag review of sorts as a homage to Small Legs Longwood Canadian whiskey review as a gator goes by. Yeah, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, anything to add, Gene? Oh wait. What, what? You got this for, what'd you pay for it? I got it for free. Under the kitchen sink? I got it okay. under the kitchen so sink. So here's, here's the question, Jean. Yes. Is it worth it? I don't think so. So it's not worth it. Uh-uh. Don't buy this. I had to wash dishes. So. This is what I got paid. <laughs> if you find whiskey underneath the kitchen sink, walk away. Walk away. Just walk away. Uh, I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we as are. As she is. There's no we, as she is. Gulp, gulp, gulp. 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 <laughs> no. Hey, watch this. Watch this. Choo choo, let me fly. I'll fly away. Fly away. Fly away. <laughs> hey, I'm Bill Larkin. I, I really don't have a title, but this has kind of evolved into a tourist attraction, which I didn't really plan to do. <laughs> I enjoy it when people come here and laugh.